Right, stop what you're doing because I'm about to show you some of the craziest shark viral videos that you've ever seen. Coming up then, we've got the infamous clip of a kayaker's run in with a white shark in New Zealand, a stingray that likes to spit water, and an octopus that decided to hitch a ride on a shark. All of those and loads more in today's viral video binge on Shark Bites. We haven't done one of these viral video binges in ages. I think we're well overdue one. For those of you that haven't seen one of these on Shark Bites before, because I feel like it's been at least a year since I've done one of these, I've basically compiled a bunch of clips of sharks and rays doing their thing that that went viral on social media. Some of these clips today though are utterly bonkers, so make sure you stick around for all of them. Right, first up then, we're off to Florida for this epic hammerhead video. Filmed just off the coast of Jupiter in Florida, we can see this great hammerhead shark trying to chow down on an unknown fish. It's mad just how quickly it appears from nowhere and it does not want to give up the chase here at all. I think the coolest part of this video though is that it demonstrates just how agile these great hammerheads can be. These are big sharks. They average around four meters, but some of the biggest have been closer to six meters and they can just turn on a dime. If we just slow the clip down here a bit in the middle, it does three 360 rotations trying to get that fish. It's just incredible. But the reason that they're capable of doing that is because of the design of their cephalofoil, aka their hammerhead. The way that it's shaped just allows them to be way more aerodynamic in the water and it enables them to perform those really sharp jerky movements, mostly to help them catch their prey like this fish or stingrays. I wonder who won this little battle, fish or hammerhead? Who's your money on? Let me know in the comments. Next up then, we've got this beautiful shot here from the Maldives of a hawk's bill turtle and a tiger shark cruising cruising next to each other. Now, normally these two species have got a predator-prey relationship with each other, with turtles often being eaten by tiger sharks. But here they don't seem to be phased by each other at all. This turtle has got some serious balls. It's so ballsy that it even decides to have a little nip of the diver's fingers here on the right at the end of the video. It's kind of funny. I bet if you ask people which of these two animals was more likely to bite the diver, most people would have said the tiger shark. But it's the little devilish turtle that goes for the diver in the end. As to why they're ignoring each other here, I believe it's filmed in Fuvamala and the Maldives which is a notorious dive site for tiger sharks. So I imagine that that particular tiger shark is filled up on bait from the dive operators and doesn't really fancy expending its energy chasing that turtle. Lazy bugger. Up next then, we've got a ridiculous TikTok clip here of a dog chasing down a nurse shark. I'm not sure where it's been filmed, but that's a tawny nurse shark there, so it's somewhere in the Indo-Pacific. We can see these dogs are not particularly well trained though as they dive in after that shark. But the craziest part here is that one of the dogs actually latches onto the tail of the nurse shark. Look, you can see here it's getting swung from left to right. That is ridiculous. It's way too early for this shit, man. Way too early. I think a lot of people might find that funny, but it's such an avoidable situation. Please don't let your dogs latch onto a shark's tail, guys. I can't believe I'm having to say that. I feel like at some point that dog is just going to pick on the wrong shark, say a bull shark hanging around in the shallows, and then, well, you can probably guess what might happen. That is just wild, though. Absolutely wild. Why can't that video have been like this cute Labrador whale shark video that we got a few years ago? That right there is what a video of a dog shark interaction should look like. Ah, uh, next clip. Get me on the next clip. So up next, then, we've got this super short clip here of a stingray doing its best hot two impression as it fires out a spout of aquarium water at an innocent bystander. Hang on, hang on, let's put the sound effect in there. Oh, you gotta give him that hawk two and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> the internet, you gotta love it. Looking at this from a behavior perspective though, it's actually been reported in quite a few captive stingrays before. Aquarium staff have reported that some stingrays have begun to associate their human caretakers with food and have started to squirt water at them to try and get their attention and probably to try and get more food. I do think this behavior has been seen in some wild stingrays before as well. There's reports of oscillate river stingrays in South America spitting jets of water to flush insects out of the river silt before pouncing on them. So the behavior probably does have some kind of evolutionary link to food. Jumping over to Australia now where Trent McAuliffe got these incredible shots of a white shark in a lake. Yep a lake. Before you all go crazy, this is an estuarine saltwater lake called Lake Conjola in New South Wales. But the whole situation here is still incredibly rare. A juvenile white shark just swimming around a saltwater lake, which happens to also be a popular tourist spot for swimmers and kayakers. People don't really know exactly how it got into the lake, but there's some suggestion that it followed the salmon run down that coast and got temporarily stuck in there following the salmon in. It kind of looks like it's got a white tip on the very end of its caudal fin, but that's actually a fishing lure that's trailing fishing line from it. So this shark unfortunately looks like it's been entangled by fishing gear at some point. Lake Conjola isn't too far away from one of the known nursery areas for white sharks in the region, and from what I've read, it did manage to escape the lake after a day or so and headed back out to deeper water. What a beauty though. Now, in this next clip, I don't think I've seen anything quite like this before with a stingray. If you guys are rubbing your eyes here, yeah, 
That's a snake. Filmed by Holly Bruce in the Northern Territories in Australia, the video is about as Australian as it gets. The snake, which specialists have identified as a Bokadam snake, can be seen trying to drag its slightly larger stingray prey up the muddy bank with great difficulty. <laughs> These semi-aquatic snakes have been known to feed on fish, but most of the specialists commenting on this have said that they've never seen or even heard of one trying to take down a stingray. I think it's probably a case of eyes too big for its belly on this one. <laughs> as to how it's happened, I imagine the stingray's been mooching around in the shallows and just moved enough for the snake to see it and then it's decided to strike thinking that it might have been a fish. But instead of realizing that this is a meal that isn't gonna go down, it's gone full commitment and just decided to roll with it. Fair play, Bokadam Snake. I respect you sticking to your guns. Can we get a thumbs up on this video for that determined Bokadam Snake? I think he deserves it. Kinda sticking with the flat sharks then, up next we've got this wild clip from Scotland of a flapper skate attacking an inflatable dinghy. Filmed by Paul Hutchinson just off the coast of Shetland, we can see the flapper skate just going ham on the side of his boat. Flapper skates are the largest species of skate in Europe, sometimes reaching two meters wide, so they're definitely definitely not to be messed around with. You can see in the video just how much damage it did to Paul's dinghy though, piercing it in several places, so much so that it actually started to deflate as he was heading back to shore. He even managed to pull a few of the skate teeth out from the side of the boat, which as you can see, a needle sharp. Why it decided to have a go at his boat though, it could be for a bunch of different reasons. I'd probably say it was some kind of foiled feeding attempt, maybe, or it could even have been a territorial display against the dinghy. Flapper skates are critically endangered and we're still learning about them, so who knows what he was doing. Regardless, what a story that Paul's got for his mates down the pub. I don't think anyone would have believed him without that video. Okay, next up then, we've got the infamous New Zealand white shark kayak clip that went viral not too long ago. So many of you out there sent me this particular clip and I have to say it is wild. Matt Wells was out fishing from his kayak a good few hours from shore when a big white shark popped up out of nowhere and decided to check him out. The whole video, which is well worth a watch by the way, is just Matt filming this white shark as it follows him for a decent distance as he's paddling back to shore. I actually think Matt plays it pretty cool in this situation, which I imagine would be pretty pretty daunting for anyone. Because a curious white shark that size could easily flip that kayak and do some serious damage, especially one that looks to be as curious as this one. I think if I was gonna give him some advice, I'd say maybe turn the kayak to face the shark and stand your ground, and that might have been enough to deter it slightly more. But that's so easy for me to say here in the Shark Bite studio, and when the adrenaline kicks in, your body just goes into flight mode there, and Matt's decided to paddle off. What an awesome encounter though, and a cracking video to back it up. Nice one, Matt. Right, next up then, we've got this super rare video of a sand tiger shark shark mating attempt. I say attempt here though because this situation hasn't really gone to plan for the male. The video starts a little bit late but the male is this one here and it's likely gone in to bite the female to try and mate with her. But unfortunately for him the females had second thoughts about this attempted mating and decided to bite him back just on top of the dorsal fin. But in doing so the pair of them have ended up in tonic immobility. Although we can't know for sure tonic immobility is believed to be an evolutionary trait that's linked to mating in that if a male can flip a female upside down he can then manipulate her into a position to a allow mating. But in this situation, they've both managed to end up in this trance-like state, which is kind of funny to see. The whole situation though is so rare, so to be able to capture something like this happening in the wild on film is absolutely awesome. As to when they managed to get out of that tonic immobility, who knows? It can sometimes last for up to 15 minutes, so they might have just been floating around together for a while. <laughs> Next up then, we've got Sharktopus for you all. And no, it's not the B-movie that got a whopping 3.3 .3 on IMDb. This is the real deal. Filmed by Wednesday Davis and Esther Stark associated with the University of Auckland in New Zealand, we can see pretty clearly that is an octopus sitting on top of a shark. Specifically, it's a Maori octopus sitting on top of a short fin mako shark. What? I honestly don't think I've seen a shark related video quite like this one before. This one easily trumps the stingray snake one from earlier. The strangest thing about this though is that the Maori octopus lives on the seabed and the mako shark is a pelagic open ocean fish. So as to exactly how these two species came into contact with each other is anyone's guess. I think this is the strangest shark video that I've seen all year. If you're asking me to speculate as to how this happened, I'd guess it's saying the shark might have tried to eat the octopus and with its nine brains, the octopus is just out maneuver the shark and ended up in the one place it can't see it right on top of its head. And then it's just decided to sit there and wait for the perfect moment to abandon ship and head to safety. The two of them were watched and filmed for over 10 minutes, just peacefully chilling out together before they lost sight of that Mako shark below the waves. I guess this one here is just a reminder that the ocean always has something up its sleeve to surprise us. What an amazing thing to get on film. Next up then, I've got a video for you of a white shark that gets absolutely body slammed by a killer whale. But to watch it, you're gonna have to click this video right here. Oh, I know, cheap shot, but there's some great shark clips in this video here, including that killer whale white shark interaction that I just teased you. So make sure you give it a click. 